The four things I never buy as a Sigma male include 1. Fast fashion trends. The very first reason why I don't buy into fast fashion trends is because fashion is very expensive. The price tags on some of these items are insane. These goods are overpriced compared to the value consumers are supposed to get from them. Any reasonable person who wants to save more like myself and knows better not to fall into this trap of endlessly buying overpriced products. The second reason is that I don't do the impulse buying thing, nor do I buy stuff I don't need just to feel good because my sense of self does not come from buying or owning so many things. Instead, my sense of self comes from knowing who I am better than anyone else. The third reason is buying less means having more money to keep aside in my savings account. Recession is at hand and many people are still blindly buying into fast fashion trends instead of saving up against rainy days or just having excess cash lying around in case a business opportunity shows up. The fourth reason is I think long term and go in only for durable products. I prefer to buy one expensive item that will last me longer than to buy many different items that will last only a month or two. The fifth reason is there is no point in having many dresses, shoes, or cars. You can only use one at a time. Most Sigma males like myself live by the 80th 20th principle, which states that we use 20% of the things we have 80% of the time. Meaning if you buy a big mansion, you will use only 20% of the rooms because you cannot be in all the rooms at the same time. The sixth reason I don't buy into fast fashion trends is because I don't like flashy things and the attention it shines on me. Wearing brands and designer dresses means shining the spotlight on myself, which is something I don't really like. Staying inconspicuous and solo is my kind of vibe. It is not like I am completely against flashy things, I only buy them when I have the financial freedom to do so. The seventh reason is that like most Sigma males, I live a minimalist lifestyle. I am not moved by fashion and the feeling of importance that comes with owning a variety of new things. The reasons why I don't buy into fast fashion trends are enormous. Unlike many other Sigma males, I am a practical Sigma male who is very logical and likes to act on reason. Since I am very intentional and don't just do things for the sake of doing them, let me share with you some of the benefits I get from not buying into things that seem to be making everyone happy. By not buying into fashion, I maintain looks that are unique to me all the time. I attract unsolicited attention without trying because my style is always unique and cost less relatively. Not buying into fast fashion trends means spending less and having plenty money to put away in savings and the financial backing to pursue any lifestyle of my choosing. Two. I don't live cheap just to buy good looks. Most men prioritize their health and the quality of food they eat over looks. Some go as far as living on junk food and cutting corners with groceries just to save up and buy junk. Because of my Sigma attributes, I seem to be careless about such things for no particular reason. I would rather wear a single dress over and over than to prioritize my health and my well-being for looks. Looking good is not all that matters to me. I have ambitions and dreams that surpass my looks. I don't obsess about my looks like most men do. Because I don't obsess about looks doesn't mean that I dress poorly or look shabby. I think of myself as a classic and elegant man, with more to accomplish other than looks. I dress accordingly depending on the weather and the kind of activity I will be doing. The truth is if you risk your health just to buy the latest iPhone, a majority of people won't know the kind of iPhone you are walking around with unless you tell them. The only people who may recognize what you are holding are people that are into iPhones like yourself. The rest of the world doesn't care. So why try so hard to look good when no one actually cares? Why starve yourself, risk your health just to own the latest product when nobody cares whether you own it or not? If I am to risk my health to buy a luxurious item, it means there is more to that item than people think and that item will be worth more in the future. That is why I am a collector. I don't buy pleasures, I buy comfort. Unlike most Sigma males, I don't spend a chunk of my money on pleasures. Rather, I buy comfort and put the remainder into a savings account. I don't really care about pleasure and fun like most people do. Not when I have a goal to achieve. You will never see a Sigma like myself buying a bottle of champagne for half a million because of the pleasure it brings. Not every item that has an insane price tag attached to it is worth the money you pay for it. 
I buy only what makes me comfortable and not what other people think is cool to have. If what I am buying does not add value to my life, I don't buy. Spending on booze, drugs, and other remote forms of pleasure is not an option for me and most Sigma males. By choosing comfort over pleasure, I spare myself from food and drug addictions and other self-harming activities for the sake of fun. I derive pleasure from helping people, solving problems, and when I achieve my goals. 4. I don't buy wants, I buy necessities. Like most Sigma males, I don't spend my hard-earned money on just anything. Unlike most men, I am not tempted to buy everything beautiful that I see. My purchasing power is controlled by my needs, not by my wants. I buy what is necessary at the moment and postpone the rest to a later date, or to when I have the financial freedom to make that kind of purchase. I prioritize my spending into three categories which you will see in a moment. When you are too materialistic, you tend to spend more. Each time there is a new trend and you don't buy into it, you feel left out, and the fear of letting people think otherwise of you compels you to buy even more. Instead of falling into this rat race because of my Sigma traits, I prioritize my spending on education. Every successful person advocates that investing in oneself is the best gift anyone can give themselves, not a room full of unwanted items. Ignorance is a crime even in court, and this fact alone is still not enough to make people invest in themselves. I prioritize education because knowing is part of being a Sigma man. Another area where I prioritize is buying experiences for myself and my family. Every once in a while I take my family to see someplace new, try foreign food, or do something unconventional just for fun. What I have learned over the years is that anything that is done in a once-in-a-while basis is always fun and enjoyable. Being driven by necessity and not by what my eyes see I am forced by logic and rational thinking to prioritize investing my money over buying pleasures. By spending less I free up more cash to invest or start up new ventures of my own as I have been doing. Nothing is more important to us Sigma males than achieving financial freedom. Spending less means saving more, and saving more allows me to attain my financial goals faster and achieve financial freedom faster as well. The reason Sigma males are very successful and financially stable is because they are deliberate with their finances and know how to manage their expenses by knowing what to buy now and what not to buy. The kind of lifestyle that Sigma males live and the way their brains are wired gives them an unfair advantage to leave life anyhow they see fit. Most people are unable to change their lifestyle because they don't understand how money works like Sigma males. Making money is one thing, managing the money is another, and multiplying it is the most difficult. By spending less and living frugally, Sigma males are able to save more, and because their spending power is controlled by needs and not wants they are to save more. They don't buy into fast fashion trends, nor do they buy into pleasures, and face the risk of being addicted to self-abuse. If you want to know more on how I overcome my day-to-day -day challenges as a Sigma male, then subscribe for more and watch this video on your screen to know how Sigma males set themselves up for greatness.